Ciao, anglers and fly divers. I'm John Davenport, conservation chair for Denver Trout Unlimited and author of a book series, Fish Before You Fly. And I'm also a longtime angler and fly diver. I've made more mistakes and caught more fish than you can probably imagine. In this series of videos triggered by the pandemic, I'll show you hacks to help you tie flies, even if you don't have the equipment or materials or if you've never done it before, or if the fly shops are closed, or if your governor, mayor, partner, or ankle bracelet won't let you leave the house. Over your lifetime, there'll probably be many times when you want to tie flies and you don't have the material or the equipment. Uh, for example, you know, when you're out of money, when you've lost your fly boxes, if you're in a plane wreck, uh, if you're a pan, there's a pandemic going on, you got the wrong flies, you're under house arrest or a divorce or just a few of them when you want to tie flies but you don't have the equipment. So here's how. In the first video we're going to tie a very simple straightforward fly, a, a red, red midge. The materials we need start of course with a bottle of whiskey, a ballpoint pen, some red thread, Sally Hansen or some other kind of nail clear nail polish, a black sharpie, and that's about it. Put a cork in a bottle of uh, bourbon, and I like to cut a little slit in it to help hold the uh, hook we're gonna put in. Next, we take a size 16 TMC 100 cook hook. Um, we're only gonna tie with a couple of different hooks. Crimp the barb. Uh, be kind to yourself and be kind to the fish by making sure you crimp that barb. Uh, you can use your needle nose pliers for that. Who doesn't have needle nose pliers? Put the hook in the cork. Push the uh, the point through. And it'll stay fairly st stable. That's good enough. Now we wind on some red thread. First you have to catch it, lay it along parallel, and then wrap right over it, and that catches it. Now it's anchored. Wrap it all the way to the bend of the hook or as far as you can go back. Using a ballpoint pen, we throw in a half hitch just to keep everything st stable. See how we did that? Very simple. Now we cut off the extra tag end. The piece left over is called a tag. wrap in a chunk of the white thread. We're going to use this to create a rib or separations of the uh, body of the midge. If you look closely at a midge you'll see that it has a segmented body. Wrap it up and then build up the body of the midge until it's a little bit of a torpedo shape. You can throw in a half hitch at, at the top. I always like to do this as I'm going along keep everything stable in case my hands slip. Now wind wraps of the white ribbing up to the eye. You see it's a nice sparse tie. Not a lot of material, but that's the way the real midges are in the creek. Now we've got some white ribbing in there. I'll tie that off with a half hitch. two. Clip off the 
extra material. And now let's build up a head and some extra wraps. Jeff Medall likes to put a, uh, a black head on his midges. So we're just going to use a uh, black magic marker to color this. You can do that either before or after we put on some clear nail polish to both keep it from unraveling and, and give it a, a shiny surface, um, which is what the midges look like you know, when they're in the water. A nice hard shell. There we go. The midge is done. Stay tuned after this uh, video and um, you have an opportunity to subscribe to the other YouTube videos or tying other things at home.